With the anniversary of the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster fast approaching, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about one of the crew members of this craft. Ronald McNair was a physicist and a NASA astronaut who was brave enough to have big dreams and follow through with them. In fact, he was one of the first three African-American astronauts to ever leave our planet. While his resume as an accomplished saxophonist, physicist, and astronaut deserves a whole episode to itself, I wanted to talk about an event that occurred when he was only nine years old. According to his big brother, Ron fell in love with space from an early age. He was eager to get his hands on some books from the public library. But public libraries were still segregated in 1959 South Carolina. One day, without telling his parents or his older brother, Ron went to the public library and stood in line to check out a few books. When his turn came up, the librarian refused to allow him to check out the books he had, stating that this library was not for colored folks. Ron insisted that he needed to check out these books. Refusing to leave, the librarian eventually contacted his mother and the police. The police arrived expecting a public disturbance, but all they found was a nine-year-old Ron that wanted to check out a few books from the library. The police officers, alongside his mother, urged the librarian to allow him to check out the books he had. With some persuasion, the librarian reluctantly accepted. To mark the anniversary of his death, the same library that Rom was not allowed to check out books from was named after him in 2011. 